how y'all doing today filming this with my GoPro uh, y'all watch Shovelhead 8 he does weekly garage sale videos from the season in the summer well I had to tell myself a couple years back that I gotta back off on the garage sales because I have a impulse to buy everything that's reasonably priced but today I went out I bought some axes online from a person and the next stayed over from us and I went to pick them up and then I did stop at a couple shops the first axe I got is a beautiful little snowing McNeely to show you it's a Kinlin maker this was actually sold by LL Beans out of Freeport Maine but it was made by snowing McNeely lovely little Hudson Bay axe I have another version of it someday I'm going to do the thing of them the leather sheath that was made for it was with it the next one she had, this was a group of four I bought together. I paid her $40 and I gave her $20 to hold them till the weekend until I could get there to get them. There's a nice little Stanley carpenter's hatchet, half hatchet some people call them. But they're a carpenter's hatchet. This one, I don't know. It's a brute. That's not the correct handle. That's not a factory handle. That's actually kind of a crude handle. It's not staying in there. That's a four pounder or better. And it's I, I can read ask for on it, but it's been beat on the pole, and I can't read any more, but that is a brute of an axe. I don't know much more about it. The last one was a Collins Hudson Bay pattern. Uh, it's original Collins handle. It has been cracked. I'm going to glue it because it is an original Collins handle. And there's a little wood missing here. I don't know what I'll do about that. Live with it, I guess. Try not to break it off. Maybe I'll put a leather over it to cover it. Nice little protector. This one's a little different than the other ones I have. This one has a 573 stamp into it. I don't know what that means at all. Um, stopped at another place. I don't know make, model, or, or anything about that one. It's an older axe. I bought that one. I don't have one like it. It's not a hewing axe. It's an actual axe. It's, you know, both sides are sharp. I think they call them a hatchet but it, it's pretty heavy. Got that little boy's axe. I'm pretty sure that that's a trooper, but the handle's awful nice, but that could have been changed, but I, it might be a Collins boy's axe and I clean it up, but I, I think it's probably a trooper or a Collins. It was made in Mexico, not positive. This one is a no-name jersey pattern. Somebody, I don't know what they were doing. They put some kind of a grease in there, maybe trying to make the handle go on better. It needs a good cleaning, but it's not all beat up either. There's no name on it. I don't know what it is. Uh, I bought this nice little draw plane. I've been wanting one of those. It's a number 52. I don't know anything about them. Draw shade. Made in USA. I'm assuming it's made by Stanley, but I saw it made in USA. And that's usually a good sign, but I don't know anything about them. Uh, I bought this number four plane because I like them. I wasn't going to collect them, and I'm starting to, but I'm not sure I'm going to continue. I don't need a whole lot of planes. And then my wife, one more thing, I found that piece of planer blade for a buck. And that, that's just a great piece of steel if you want to make a little sharp chisel or something out of it. I said, well, I'm going to grab that about that and then this is Norton abrasive and that's an actual stone I'm not just sure I know how to use a steel but I'm not just sure my wife actually found that she was with a friend today and when I said I wasn't going to collect planes and I definitely wasn't going to do wooden planes because there's just no end to it and my wife buys me that one she only paid five dollars for it which was an incredible buy for that plane I know that that she happened there first where somebody else was that had any idea what they were that somebody would have snatched that up so fast for five dollars to make your head spin and out of a free pile well, everybody needs fireplace poker it's a pretty good one too somebody actually I, I don't know if they bought it or made it it looks like they probably made it themselves it's kind of turned on a lathe that brass handle hey I hope you find that entertaining I have to be kind of quick because my internet is really bad here and 
five minutes is about a two hour upload. Thank you so much for watching.